All right, in this episode, we're gonna break ground on our brand new creator platform. So I'm actually gonna run Rails new and we're gonna call this uh, creators and we're gonna use dash C because we're gonna enable Tailwind CSS. We're using dash J because we're gonna use the ES build JavaScript settings and we're gonna use PostgreSQL. We want to skip any default tests. If we add tests, we're gonna add them with RSpec and we want to use uh, the main branch by default. So this is gonna go and download Rails uh, from GitHub. It's gonna install a bunch of stuff and we'll be off to the races. We're gonna generate a new controller called the static pages controller where we're gonna have a root route and we're gonna call that good. And in the next episode, we'll set up devise for authentication. So here we can CD into our creator platform. This is a great spot for us to commit all of the things that were initially added. So I'm gonna say git add dash a, git commit dash m initial. We're gonna generate a new controller that we're gonna use for any static pages. This includes our root sort of landing page or marketing page. Maybe if we have a terms of service, privacy policy, all of those kind of static pages, pricing pages, those will all be part of a static pages route. So we're gonna say Rails G controller static pages. And this is gonna have a root route to start. So when you generate a controller, when we say Rails G controller, we can have this generate a brand new controller by passing the name of the controller and then any views that we want to automatically generate, we can pass those here. So if we wanted an index and a show and a new, we could pass those as other arguments here. Now we have a new controller that we can use on the server side to respond to requests. So we're gonna open up our routes file here and inside of our routes file, we're gonna add a root route. We can say root and this is gonna to be to the static pages controllers root action. So here we're using the pound sign or the octothorpe to tell it which specific action on this static pages controller we want to execute. Now this is just a convention, the name static underscore pages here aligns with our static pages controller. So this class static pages controller will be initialized, an instance of it will be initialized, and then we're gonna call this root route where we can write any logic that we want to execute when the root um, is rendered. Now by default, we're gonna have a render root method. This is the default when you have an action. This says to render the template that is called root. So if we look into our views directory under static pages, we have this root.html.erb template. This is the page that's gonna render. So we've got a static pages controller set up. We have a root route. If we come over to another tab here, we can say bin slash dev and this will fire up all of our services and get an application up and running. So now we can go to localhost 3000 and hit enter, and that will attempt to load that root route. Because we just created our application, Rails expects for there to be a database available called creators underscore development. We'd never actually created the database and we could either go into Postgres and create a new database with that name, but there are some helpful utilities inside of Rails where we can say Rails, db create rails db colon create that will create the database and now we can say rails db colon migrate which will run any of our migrations that we have now migrations are ruby files that will translate into sql that are going to modify the underlying database we don't have any of those yet but know that we'll have to come back and run that later when we actually set up a database all right so now we have our static page running for the root action at this point, we're gonna call that good for the first episode. In the next episode, we'll come back and we'll add devise authentication. See you soon.